Welcome back everyone. If you're new to this channel, my name is Sandeep and uh, this channel is all about photography and videography and anything surrounding those two. And today we are revealing my first ever print. So hopefully you guys enjoy the print. I don't even know how it looks like. So we're gonna be surprised together. Either it's gonna be worth the money I spent or not. We'll see. It's my first ever print and it's from Poster Jack. Here it is, still in the packaging. I have not opened it, not looked at it. So we are gonna be surprised together. And hopefully it's a good surprise. That's all I have to say. Because I, uh, it's what, 16 by 12. So it's gonna be an eyesore if it's not a good surprise. But hope, hopefully it is. All right, let's get to unpacking this. And for just for this, uh, just for this video, I made this uh, makeshift, pretty looking top-down shot. Hopefully, ignore the. Things, whatever they call it. See if I can. Very nervous, guys. Very nervous. By the way, for a uh, frame for this uh, sort of print, I've had it for almost a year now, and finally had guts to print something. So I had an empty frame for a very long time, asking to be filled. And hopefully today is the day. Hopefully. Made it really hard. Really, really hard. Oh. There it is. Oh, let me talk a little bit about the photo that I printed. It's it's from my trip to Sri Lanka, beginning of 2020, uh, of nine bridges, uh, or it's nine arc bridge, it's called in Sri Lanka. And it's a pretty iconic or famous place that every tourist go to see. And uh, that's the print I have in here. I'll put up the photo so you can see how the photo looks versus the print. The print looks like this Whoa. I love it only thing is I think my frame is the wrong size but love 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 the print it was printed on uh, a paper called I forgot the paper name but I'll put it up on the screen uh, but it was specifically to display the photos that you take uh, and I like it it's not shiny it's matte finish which I'm a fan of but I love it I think this is definitely going up. Oh my god, I love it. I do wish I do wish I had uh, made white frames surrounding. This is my first time, so I'm learning. But uh, trust me, I'll be printing a lot more after seeing this. Uh, but I do wish I had white frame uh, surrounding the photo. Uh, because once you put it in the frame You may not be able to see all the edges so Next time I'll be sure To have the white frames in the photo But yeah, this was a short video. However, it took me forever to set it up But I do like the setup 
and that light I think it's gonna stay there stay that color instead of the, the yellow ones that you've seen in the past videos it's more brighter that's why but let's frame this up and see how it fits in my frame because I don't know the frame says it fits this but I don't know it looks big so we'll see See how the frame is. I've only opened it from the top, and it looks really big in this picture. Like if it, there's no way this one fits 12 by 16, but we'll see. I'm gonna open it right here. To worry, we are gonna frame it today. If anything, I'm heading down to Walmart right now. But you guys like my my choice of T-shirt today? Since I was revealing a print from Sri Lanka, I decided to wear a T-shirt from Sri Lanka that says Sri Lanka. But Way too small guys, as I had expected. I think the frame definitely came wrong. We're gonna have to find a new way to frame this red boy. What my trip? The plan is to go find a 12 by 16 frame. First I'm gonna go check out Ross and see if they have anything for us. If not, then we'll make a stop to Walmart and then Michael's. was a no-go didn't even have the size plus I'm not looking for something tacky I would rather have a black frame or very minimalistic style framing rather than uh, something tacky so they definitely did not have that so on to Walmart now So I did find a frame that will fit that will fit the print that I'd gotten, but uh, I don't know how good it will look. It's not one of those fancy ones at all. It's I think a plastic frame too. So I don't know. I guess it's a first first print, right? It'll be okay. From now on, I'll be uh, more careful. But 
Let's see how it looks. Let's get home and uh, frame it up. So after that fiasco, we have a frame that will fit our print. It's a very cheap frame, but this was the only thing I could find in the size 12 by 16. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see how it looks inside the frame. So let's do it. Oh, I did find uh, it's it's called fine. It's called fine art prints from Poster Jack. If you do want this matte looking painting looking prints uh, for your photos so that's what that's what it is I was I'm very happy with the results just so you guys know if I didn't say that before uh, I didn't have to do much of editing specifically to print it so it's pretty easy and they take care of it pretty well Boom, boom, it's going in. I am very happy with this product. Look at this, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that's it guys. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short video of me revealing my first ever print. And when, when, when you hear people say you should always print your work, they were not wrong. Uh, it puts a different perspective on the photo when it's materialized. Uh, and I'm glad I did and I'm looking forward to printing a lot more. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to share and don't forget to print your work next time. Alright, take care. Peace. See you in the next one.